love the new book. I, didn't, I, was, I was telling you backstage. The first third of it is like a flashback to my life. All right. Because it starts out in Africa, and there's so many things that you experience, and I'm like, oh my god, that happened. I know. Africa's one of those. If you ever get a chance to go on safari, you have to go, because you are really transported into another continent. And my girlfriends and I acted like we were going to Cabo. So I mean, <laughs> they, they, we showed up, and the safari was not prepared for us. I mean, they didn't know how to make a margarita. We're like, we, we're like, we don't have they that request. They knew by the time they left. Yeah. They, yeah, they knew. Anyone who goes to Africa and gets a margarita, you can send me a thank you note. <laughs> It really is an, an arduous thing, though. You have to get up at like four o'clock in the morning. You get up before the sun. It goes from very cold to like extremely hot. And they have this thing where they put poop in their mouths. They have Impala, the animal Impala's poop, and then they pick up the poop, and you can eat it if you want. And I was, <laughs> I thought, well, I don't, I'm not that hungry. <laughs> and they said, oh no, it's a good experience. And I'm like, it's not that good of experience. And you know, when you get up at four o'clock in the morning, you can't see anything that's in your little room, and you're in the dark, you're in tents and everything. So you end up, you know, one day I put on what I thought was sunblock, and then after when the heat comes out, it's super, super hot. And then I just started foaming and realized I had shampoo, shampoo everywhere. <laughs> So, I mean, it is, it's a tricky vacation. You have to be really prepared. <laughs> and, it, and they even make a game out of the, out of the poop. They, they see how far they can throw the poop. God, you're really focused on this. I mean, why don't you make some of your own? I'll send you an Impala. I'm gonna buy you an Impala Just for your birthday. That so crazy. You went on your honeymoon, right? Yeah. And there was a couple there when we went and they were on their honeymoon too. And, and they seemed like they were having a great time. <laughs> found it very moving. I was moving. just trying this. I was like, I was going to say something really. I was like, oh God, I can't be stuck here with her. Can you imagine being stuck on safari for a week with one person? Yes. All I could look at my sister goes, you know, some people are happy to be married, Chelsea. Not everybody's like you. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I still wouldn't change the experience, though. I mean, I did love going. And I, I love your pictures. Your pictures, well, yeah. they tell a thousand stories. They tell, one. yeah. We did, you, did you bring some? Yes, yes we have. We that's, well, that's me in Switzerland. The whole book's about different story trips I've been on. That was when I got medevaced off the mountain in Switzerland after I tore my ACL. And um, they gave me morphine. And you can see how happy I was to have that. It was, that was the best day of my life. Have you ever had morphine? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Not I that mean, I remember, it is but amazing. it kind of seems like it might be worth the ACL. It, 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 <laughs> By the way, it was, that's me in Africa. That's, a, that's an elephant in the background. Was that the shampoo day? That was, no, but that was my Bon Jovi day. <laughs> <laughs> but and yes, that was the first, that's me going to the restroom outside. <laughs> they make it, they make it very, they make it very American-like. At least you or, got a box to sit in. We had to go behind bushes with guys with guns watching. <laughs> And that's when we came back to one camp. That's when we went to Botswana. We came back to the camp and the line was just sitting there. I was going to the gym. If you see the exercise equipment in the back, <laughs> yeah. I was going to the gym and then they were, I was like, oopsie, oopsie. <laughs> and then we got back in the car and we had a live kill. We saw a whole, like, all the lines were surrounding that area and waiting for the Impala or the, yeah, the Impala. They all killed the Impala. Ugh. They're the biggest victims in, on safari. It, I mean, you really do see the whole circle of life thing there. Like, we had a kudu in our shower, which is like a crazy deer with these kooky horns, and then they serve you kudu at lunch, and you're just like, oh, poor too kudu. Soon, yeah, too, too soon. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> have the soup, <laughs> the cauliflower soup instead. So, you know, I, I love how you, you literally go and hijack your loved ones every time you, you break up or, or want to take a trip. You bring people with you. Well, I love to bring everybody. I mean, listen, I'm so fortunate to have the life I do. I mean, I don't take my job very seriously, but they pay me a lot of money, so I like to, <laughs> I like to take all my friends and family on vacations with me. And plus, you know, I, I mean, they can't. And then I always get material. I didn't, you know, I wrote a book. One of my girlfriends isn't really speaking to me right now because she finally read the book and she said, I didn't, didn't I do? I, it's a great way to end relationships if you're, if you're getting annoyed with someone. You can you're clean like, house. Oh, have you read this chapter? Um, <laughs> So yeah, I love to go on group vacations is the best because you can't, for me, I get very bored very easily. So I need a new personality around the corner at all times. Well, I want to know what's next on the list. Have you decided where you're going to go next? I'm going to go, well, I'm going to go to Tulum for a couple of days. I'm on this book tour for the next um, like three months. I'm going to do 31 Madi cities, right? Yeah, 31 cities. I'm going to do Madison Square Garden, the Theater on the Garden. And then, um, and then, uh, yeah, I'll go to Tulum. I mean, I love to travel. I love to leave the country. I mean, I just love people's reactions to, like, a loud American girl like myself. <laughs> you know, most people are scared, and sometimes I have to use an accent if I've really offended people. I pretend I'm British or Canadian. <laughs> <laughs>